Anya, welcome to my kitchen. Today I would like to show you how to prepare uh, kołacz śląski. This cake dates back to 18th century and it used to be prepared for weddings. There are four different ways uh, of preparing it. It is a, a sweet bread. It can be prepared just plain. You can have a layer of uh, apples, layer of um, or layer of uh, poppy seed or layer of cheese and that's what we're going to prepare today it's Sebastian's favorite anything cheese is his favorite anyway but uh, it is delicious it is a little bit time consuming yeah because it's a bread it's a yeast dough but except that it's really easy I hope you guys are going to give it a go and in case you decide to do that let's have a look at the ingredients so you know what you need to my uh, warmed up milk. I just warmed it up for 15 seconds in the microwave. It needs to be lukewarm. Then I'm giving it a stir and I'm waiting to get the nice yeasty smell to know that it's well activated. Then we're going to separate our eggs. First the four eggs which is for the cake and we're going to keep two egg whites aside for the cheese layer and uh, two full eggs and two egg yolks we're going to add into stand mixer together with uh, sugar and we're going to beat it for around 4-5 minutes until it's nice fluffy and you get the ribbon effect. You can as well do it with the handheld mixer, it's just going to take a little bit longer. Now when this is ready I'm adding my uh, yeast mixture, then vanilla, melted butter and then I'm adding my flour into it and with the uh, dough attachment. I'm going to be working it until the dough gets nice and elastic just like this gets off easily uh, off the walls almost easily it got nice and elastic it's a little bit tiny sticky so I'm going to clean the sides here we go and then I'm going to remove it from the bowl you see it gets off but gets a little bit sticky. We forming a nice bowl, spraying a mixing bowl, any bowl actually, and then make sure that it's covered with the non-stick spray and we're going to uh, cover it with the uh, plastic wrap. Here we go, I don't want it to dry but I also made sure that the oil went there and we're going to set it aside for around an hour and a half until it um, doubles in size and then we're going to uh, cut out a circle of the parchment paper for later on and then we're going to separate the two eggs which we have for the uh, cheese layer now here we go I have a homemade pot cheese which I made by myself but uh, you can use the um, pressed uh, cottage cheese and then into my cheese I'm going to add uh, sugar and with the pastry blender I'm going to blend it nicely and then I'm going to add my egg yolks here we go and we're going to give it a good stir just like this okay now we have our egg whites so we have the two egg whites from those egg two eggs as well as the egg whites from our uh, cake part now I'm going to be beating it until I get stiff peaks. Here we go, that is ready. And then I'm going to add my um, egg whites in uh, two or three uh, times. I'm going to add it two or three times, sorry. Just so at the beginning when you add a little bit, it gets um, a little bit moist. So then when you get it the second time, it actually keeps the fluffiness of the egg whites. Here we go, we make it gently and that's how it looks like when this is ready. 
all right so we're going to spray i will run spring form uh, and then we're going to put a, our cut out circle out of parchment paper and then i'm going to spray it on top of it i have the spray with the flower in it just make sure that you spray the sides because you don't want anything to stick and then here we go our dough grew beautiful yes and then i'm going to split it into half after i remove it from my bowl we go with the sharp knife i'm going to cut it in half because we need the bottom layer and the top layer and then i'm going to stretch it with my hands if you're good with making pizzas you will not have a problem with this otherwise you can use your fingers later on to just fill in nicely uh, the bottom of the pan and then we put our cheese layer on top of it and even it out nicely here we go and then we take the remaining half of the of the dough and we're going to stretch it nicely to cover the top and i sprayed it a tiny bit with a non-stick spray and covered it put it aside for around half an hour just so it uh, uh, raises a little bit more and then i'm going to cut my cold butter that's the the quarter cup of each add to it flour and sugar and blend it together with my pastry blender until it's in small pieces just small crumbs like this okay that's our topping for the cake okay and we're going to need the egg wash so the topping will um, actually stick to the cake so i have one egg which i will lightly beat here we go and put it aside so i can use it for brushing the top of my cake cake, cake here here we go sorry so i'm brushing the top of the cake so now our topping will stick nicely to it that's how it looks like and this we're going to bake at 180 degrees celsius oven for an, uh, an hour now in a half time after half an hour i would cover it with the aluminium foil so it doesn't brown too much then we let it stand for around 15 minutes and with the knife we run around the edges and then remove it from our spring form here we go it's still warm to the touch i'm putting it on the serving plate now cutting it we do after it's cooled out completely because otherwise the cheese if it doesn't have time to set will just swim out of the of the cake but uh, i wanted to give it a try so mine was not set yet completely but it was delicious I hope you guys are going to give it a try and as usual please let me know what you think Good. you can see Isabella is enjoying it and I will see you next time bye